Hi there. Hi, Plant Girl here. Um, today I decided I'm going to uh, pot up my tomatoes. These are the tomatoes I planted, you may have seen in a video recently. Um, I planted them a week and a half ago. And it looks like most of the seeds have germinated, if not all of them. And most of the plants have their first set of true leaves on them. And they're getting pretty crowded um, with such good germination. I could leave these another week, probably even two weeks if I really wanted to, but I have time right now. I have shelf space on my shelf right now. So I thought I'd take this time and, uh, and get these separated and I'll, I'll give you a look at how I do that. So let's have a look at these. Um, some of the tomatoes um, just have a few in each cell. Some have come up quite, quite full. Many of them have their first set of true leaves on them. So I'm going to bring this one in closer and give you a better look just so you can understand what I mean. So when um, when seeds first start to germinate and the sprouts emerge from the soil, they have these, I think they're called co cotyledon leaves. I always kind of say that wrong, but, and they generally have the same look no matter what plant you're growing, this long, ovate kind of form to it. And then the next set of leaves that forms, see how well you can see that, is, um, the true leaf. Here's a better example here. So you can see how that actually has that tomato leaf shape. Has the the different lines, the different shape, separation. Whereas these are just one long flat kind of leaf. So these are the leaves that generally when you're looking to pot up a plant, these are the leaves you're you're usually looking for. That shows you that the plant is strong, it's moving on, and it's got these first set of leaves that are going to capture all that sunlight and do to carry it on here and it'll continue to grow. So um, with tomatoes I'm not as worried about finding this leaf. Um, these are Tomatoes are pretty hardy, almost like a weed in how they grow, so there's a few here that don't have those first set of leaves yet, but they'll be fine. And some of them are really crowded in these trays, I don't know if we had twins come up out of some of the seeds or if I planted them even heavier than I realized but um, thought I put three rows of three so there should be about nine plants in each of these but some of them have much more than that. This one has this one has 13 plants in it and I would guess that this one has close to 20 in it but let's get on with potting them up. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking, I have two containers of each type of tomato. So these are my Manitoba tomatoes. And I'm just gonna pop them both out into this other container here. There's already roots coming out the bottom of these pots. So you can see they're developing nice roots. Now they could develop more in these pots, like I said, especially some of the varieties. But since I'm doing them, I'm just doing them all at once. Lots of roots here again. And again, this one seems like a lot of the, the seeds gave me double the plants. So, oops, and I broke some of the roots off on that one. But tomatoes are tough, so they won't, they won't care. Um, and I've put some perlite in my soil but that's just because I'm running low on soil so I'm trying to extend it a little bit here. Um, you could just use regular potting soil and be fine and I'm down to these little bit larger pots as my next size right now. Um, 
So I'm actually going to put two tomatoes in each of these pots and I'll have to separate them out again, um, either to pop them up or when they go out in the garden, depending on the size they are when that happens. But this will be fine and this will get me probably a good month at least in here. Um, so it'll be fine like this. So I've just, I've given this a gentle pat just to eliminate any air pockets in the soil. I'm just going to push my finger down in opposite corners down to my knuckle. And I'm just going through these, oops, and I'm just pulling out some of the stronger looking seedlings. So you want to be careful that you're not squeezing this uh, stem here because that'll block off the, the movement of nutrients and water through the plant and kill it. But that's, you know, I'm just going to go through them and pull out the ones that I want. This one has a nice long root system on it. And I'm just setting them in the pot down as de deep as I can. And then I'll just put a little bit more soil around right up to those, right up to those leaves. sure to label them and set them in my tray. Now, tomatoes, tomatoes are kind of special because um, they have a little bit of a, a furry um, stem here and every little bit of like little little hair on here is going to grow you a new um, root. So that's why we bury them so deep in the soil is to allow more roots and that'll give you a stronger rooting structure on your plant. Not all plants can be buried so deeply when you up-pot them, but tomatoes you can, so. So again, I'm just two big indents there and Send those roots down deep in the soil. Make another one off here. And then just fill in the label. Okay, so it's just that easy. So I'm just going to go through grab the ones that I want here to keep. I'm going to make six pots of each type. That'll give me um, 12 plants of each variety when I'm finished. So here's one that I wouldn't keep because you can see, you can see there. It's, um, the stem is really kinked. Oops really kinked and it was just kind of growing really wonky so that's one that I'll just take to the compost and I'll pick a healthier looking plant than that to use. So as you go through you'll see some that are just kind of awkward or misshapen and I just send them out to the compost bit bin there and uh, save the healthier looking plants. And you can see I'm not being super delicate with them. Tomatoes, tomatoes are pretty tough, so. Well, there's my first tray done. So I've got Romas, Manitobas, and San Marzano. I have um, six pots of each, which is 12 plants all together. And I'm just gonna go on my grow light, under my grow lights here. Now when I water these, I will just put water in the bottom, you know, up a quarter to a half an inch or so, probably about once a week, but I'll keep an eye on them to see when they're looking dried out. Um, or you don't want them completely dried out, like till they're, they're getting to that point where they're getting drier, but not completely dry. Um, and uh, that's what they'll be doing now for the next little while. If they seem like they're really stretching for this light here, because they're a little bit a little bit far away, I'll set another tray upside down and just raise them up a little bit, but 
I think they'll be okay like that with these lights. We'll just keep an eye on them. Like I said before, I'm running low on soil, so I have two more, two more of these trays um, of tomatoes to do, which will be two more of these trays when I get it done. And I'm not sure if I have enough soil for all of them. I'll probably get one more tray done, and I'm not sure about after that. But that's what I'm going to continue working on today. And uh, I don't think you need to see me doing them all, but uh, I just thought I'd give you a quick look at uh, what I do to pot them up. Now, normally, like I said before, I put them in uh, one pot, but I'm low on soil, and these pots are big enough for now to have enough room to spread some roots out and get some growth like this. And Tomatoes are tough, so they can be divided again, even if the roots grow together a little bit. So I hope you found this helpful. I know it's not quite um, a perfect explanation of what to do. It's good to see too that um, gardening doesn't have to be perfect, and uh, you just you use what you have and, and you do what you can, and you'll still get uh, rewarded for it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.